I'm about to go to GNC and I'm about to get some of those questions because I really want some nachos really bad. So yeah, that's what I'm about to go home and make some keto nachos. So when I get there, I will show you what it looks like. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I got my chips. I got more than that kind that I need. So I'm about to go home and show y'all how I make my keto nachos fire. Okay, so I'm at home now. I got my carne asada all cooked up. I'm just letting this like rest. Oh, his juice just dripped down my arm. So yeah, so I'm just letting this rest for now. And then um, I'm gonna cut it up and stuff. So I'm gonna show you what else I have for my nachos. Okay, so I have three bags of these. Quest. Tortilla style protein chips. I get loaded taco flavor. They have different kind of flavors. This is the kind I like to use. I got nacho cheese, chipotle lime, stuff like that. Cool. Have this. Salsa con queso, mediano. Um, tostitos. I use this last time, so it was really good. I'm my avocado here. I'm gonna make some little guacamole. A lemon for the guacamole. Seasoning and and sour cream. Cool. So the hardest part about this is getting the chips, but since I found these, easy over. Period. So I'm gonna show you real quick how I do the guacamole and stuff. So yeah. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna heat up my cheese in the microwave. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna cut up my um, carne asada I got over here. Okay, so now I got the cheese heated up. I got the steak cut up. Heat up a little bit longer. <clears throat> so I have all of that stuff going. So I'm gonna pour my chips into my container and then I'm going to assemble my nachos. What I should have done here is put chips, then cheese, then chips, then cheese. Cause I, that's how I like mine. So I don't know what I was thinking, but pouring all those chips in that bowl, but next time. As you can see, I'm one of those people that likes to scrape every single bit out of the bowl. <laughs> and I like a lot of sour cream on mine too. I like a lot of guacamole and a lot of sour cream. So, yeah. Okay, so that's it, how I make those. I'm about to eat those. Pretty simple, it seems like a lot, but it's just the components all coming together. Like that's really it. The carne asada is the only thing you have to cook 
everything else is well you could just buy guacamole but <clears throat> i have like so many avocados all the time I'm like i'm just making my own like it's not authentic but it's good it's good yeah. so yeah <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video of watching me make these keto nachos. This is like really one of the easiest things you could do on keto and you can use any kind of meat you want. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.